Hello everyone, beloved souls out there. It's Rika the Vocal Tris and oh boy. I know, I didn't upload any videos last week because ugh, this month July is going to be insane just time-wise. I just know it is because I'm getting ready for an online summer program at the end of the month. So I'm so sorry I didn't upload anything last week. Um, and again, I feel like the upload schedule will continue to struggle, <laughs> at least for this month. Um, but next month it should be back on schedule. I try to upload at least three times a week, so... Yeah, uh, and with that being said, I don't know how uploads will look for the next few weeks. Um, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to go ahead and let everyone know so you're not, so you're not confuzzled. Alright, so today we're we're just gonna do a would you rather because would you rather is fun and it's 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 a good time I think so we're gonna go ahead and bypass this one here also um I have a small announcement to make at the end so stay tuned okay would you rather have to hold your pee in all wait have to hold your pee all day have to pee every five minutes to hold your uh too much or not at all it says i mean technically this could be the same thing because if you have to pee all day having to pee every five because holding your pee in means you have you have to pee and this one's like, you have to pee every five minutes. But in both of these scenarios, scenarios, you'll have to pee. Have to hold your pee in all day. I mean, this is pretty inconvenient. Have to go every five minutes. That would be, yeah, that's, that's awfully inconvenient. I guess it would depend on your profession. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with blue. Have to hold your pee all day. Wow, that's what most people chose. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, peeing every five minutes, that's so inconvenient. So inconvenient for so many people. Okay. Would you rather live in isolation, face your biggest fear once a month? Life alone or overcoming fear? Face your biggest fear? Over, so it says facing your fear, so overcoming that fear once a month. Does that mean your fear changes every month? I don't want to be in isolation. No man is meant to be alone, after all. And even people who prefer being alone, like, I, you know, you hear it a lot, like, people they like being alone, but they don't want to be lonely. Like, they don't want to feel like they don't have anybody. Um, but they value their alone time. And that's, the, you know, those things are different. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm do this one. <laughs> Simply because I don't want to live in isolation. Yeah. Okay. If you were on a safari, would you rather have your foot stepped on by an elephant? Have your foot bitten by a lion? Ow. Okay, okay, here's the thing. If your foot gets stepped on by an elephant, RIP your foot, it is being crushed. And that is excruciating to have your foot crushed. Your foot bitten by a lion, like, you'll probably bleed around your ankles, around your toes, but like, your whole foot won't be done for. You know? So. These are both horribly painful, but uh, the idea of any part of my body being crushed as opposed to the pain is more, I guess, I just feel like, and also being bitten by a lion might be quicker. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm gonna do lion. Oh gosh. Man, ouch, no. <laughs> It didn't say my foot gets chomped off, you know. If your foot gets crushed, it's crushed. It's done. Okay, would you rather 
Be a character in your favorite game. Be a member, game. Oh my gosh, game all the way. All the way, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. As much as I love bands, I, I love my fictional characters, <laughs> my fictional worlds. Okay, would you rather have to sleep three hours a day, have to sleep, oh, I've done this one. Uh, I've done this one. I chose blue three hours a day under, I think it was under the understanding, wow, pretty, that's basically 50-50, that I would be able to function well enough on three hours. Be bald everywhere, be albino, huh? What kind of question is this? No body hair, no pigment. I guess, I, I think albino people are super pretty. I think albin- I mean, I don't- I, I don't know everything about albinism, like, the health- Like, I know- I think there are some health issues. But I feel like this is going more on aesthetics, and there's nothing wrong aesthetically, I don't think. With, it's, there's nothing wrong with being bald or albino, so... Oh, white hair all the way. <laughs> I think white hair is really pretty. Would you rather be a, the homemaker, be the breadwinner? Either way, your household is making enough money to be comfortable. Be the homemaker? The breadwinner. By homemaker, do they mean like the housekeeper? Be the breadwinner. Uh, I mean, assuming this means housekeeping, be the homemaker. Both people in the relationship should be able to do both. <laughs> breadwinner, homemaker. I don't know. I mean, I mean, okay, if I'm the breadwinner, that means I can actively do my career, which is nice. So <laughs> I don't want to just be at home and not get to do the things I'm, I'm passionate about. Would you rather cure cancer? First, cure cancer. Oh my gosh. Cure cancer. Yeah, save lives over meeting aliens. Goodness. Eat your own hand. Eat a loved one's eye. Eat my own hand. I'm not... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that lagged for a second. I am not bodily harming any of my loved ones. <laughs> Would you rather attend Harvard or attend Yale? I honestly don't know the difference. I know they're both big schools. Do either of them have a theater program? <laughs> um, uh, Yale? Aren't they pretty similar, Harvard and Yale? Hold on, let me see something. Okay, so it turns out, it seems like they both do have theater programs. So that's nice. <laughs> I guess Yale. I hear so much about Harvard. Wow. Okay. I mean, whatever. I'm done with school anyway. <laughs> Would you rather death by freezing in Antarctica, death by... Ooh. This one, death by walking through the Sahara would be miserable. Absolutely miserable. Freezing to death is just painful, I feel like. Because this isn't like you're burning to death, really. I mean, I guess so, because the sun's really hot. I don't know which one's quicker, though. <sighs> I don't know, I feel like freezing takes a long time. Right? And parts of your body start falling off. I don't know if that's how frostbite works. If it automatically, like, if it immediately happens like that. Because I know you turn blue and stuff. I don't know how bad it has to get before you start losing fingers. I am more of a cold weather person, but as far as, like, how I'd want to die, maybe it would be do the Sahara, yeah. I just feel like freezing to death is just slower. So... Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Gosh, 67 to 33. What do I know? Gotta get the greens, it says. 
Would you rather eat 50 celery sticks every day, eat 50 Brussels sprouts? Ooh, I enjoy Brussels sprouts. Celery, not so much. I don't mind celery. Wow, I guess more people do like celery. I don't mind celery, but I love like roasted Brussels sprouts. Ooh, they're so good. And I think Brussels sprouts are cute. They're like little balls of cabbage. <laughs> celery sticks are fine too. I just, I don't, I just don't care to eat them that much. Live in a tree house, live in a floating boat house. Assume that neither is a bad place to live. You probably just have a difficult time getting the mail. <laughs> tree house. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Oh my gosh, have you seen how tricked out tree houses can be? That'd be so awesome. Now you might have a problem with pests and <sighs> thunderstorms, yikes, but you can make it work. Floating boat, yeah, I don't know if I wanna live on the, For, okay, I, it's floating on the water. For some reason I thought it's floating. <laughs> and I was thinking, can they, can they do that? <laughs> uh, would you rather not be able to feel any pain have extremely brittle bones now when i first read this i said why would anyone choose red but not being able to feel pain isn't necessarily a good thing um i think that's the whole thing with leprosy you lose feeling in your body but you can't you can't feel the pain when you're actually like say if you put your hand on a hot stove and your hands on fire but you can't feel it and you're like oh my hand it's all it's all charred and crusty when did that happen so it's not a good thing necessarily to not be able to feel pain because um, then you won't know if your arm's broken or something well wow. that's a problem um have extremely brittle but see, this one, you can be more careful. Having extremely brittle bones, like your bones are always with you, obviously. <laughs> and for them to be brittle all the time is something you constantly have to deal with. But not being, be able, well, because there are more ways to feel pain than just like hitting, hitting yourself on something. It's also like stomach aches and migraines. Um, just because you can't feel those things doesn't mean they're not there, and uh, ooh, that wouldn't be good either, because then maybe you're sick and you wouldn't know it, kind of thing. Oof. Extremely brittle bones. Well, I don't have very, I mean, I don't feel like I have very strong bones, because I don't drink a lot of milk, I don't go outside a lot. I feel like honestly I'm pretty my I'm pretty flimsy as a person. <laughs> okay, I'll go with brittle bones because again, I don't know wow well I am in the huge minority, but I think there are different kinds of pain and feeling pain is, you know, the body's way of saying, Hey, you need help <laughs> So you wanna know that stuff. Okay. Would you rather only eat, only drink? You would gain all your nutritional content through what you choose. Hmm. I really love milkshakes. Now, a sashimi milkshake would be disgusting. Oh, I wouldn't be able to eat delicious Asian food anymore. Like, oh. <laughs> Like kimchi and samgyeopsal and sushi and sashimi and and tofu and oh all that good stuff. But only drinking. Again, I love. Well, sometimes milkshakes are kind of chunky, so I'll do only. Eat. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty even. If you had your choice of portable game device, would you rather PSP, Nintendo, DS? Um, uh, Mario vs. Uh, 
versus <laughs> well, what a PlayStation has. Um, PSP. There are more Pokemon games on Nintendo DS, so <laughs> let's choose that one. <laughs> wow, 50-50. The only time I really played a PSP was when I played Birth by Sleep. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. That's the only time I really used a PSP. Would you rather be naked all the time? Never leave your house slash apartment. You know, if everyone chose blue, that would just become the norm. Everyone would just be naked. <laughs> uh, never leave your house. Yeah, I mean... Again, I'm thinking about like my career path and things I want to do. Like I have to leave my house. <laughs> so if everyone's naked, that's just the norm. So <laughs> the body's beautiful anyway. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Okay. If you were in a horror movie, would you rather be thrown into a snake pit, into a spider pit? Ooh. They're both poisonous. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, I feel like a snake bite is way more painful than a spider bite. Right? Right? What kind of spiders are they? Because, I don't know. And like, how fast is the poison? Because some, some poisons kill you, like, in a matter of seconds. Others, it takes a while, man. This, these are both horrible. I'm gonna boil it down to... <clears throat> Spiders are six inches in diameter. Ugh. I don't know, I feel like spiders are less... I feel like spiders are less aggressive, I don't know. I feel like they're more likely to just mind their own business, so I'm gonna do spiders. <laughs> Yikes! I think snakes are cute. Unpopular opinion. I like snakes. <laughs> Would you rather be constantly followed by 32 ducks for the rest of your life? <gasps> I want ducks, please! Oh, the ducks may have aggressive days. You cannot get surgery. I would love them. I would love them so much. They would be my army. <laughs> I would adore them. Alright, two more. The world be full of atheists, the world be full of Christians. Christians. As a follower of Christ myself. This will be permanent. Yeah, I want everyone to know Jesus and know that Jesus loves them and he knows them and he died for them and and they can know him and walk with him and <laughs> Okay. Would you rather play Pac-Man and play Space? Neither. <laughs> Honestly. I guess Pac-Man I remember more. Yeah. Okay, I'll do one more. I remember- yeah. I mean, I was never good at Pac-Man, but- Oh no, this- okay, we're gonna end on a long one. Okay, have your left leg be painlessly amputated and only be allowed to use a peg leg as a prosthetic replacement have one of your toes be amputated with a dirty cleaver every year until you have none left. If you choose the blue option, you can take off the peg leg whenever you want and use a wheelchair if you please. If you choose the red option, your toes would be amputated on January 1st of each year and the cleaver has a 20% chance of causing a pain. Why would you? Is this even a choice? Is this, are these even? Okay. I don't see how that's even a choice, honestly. Why would you want red? Why would you want that ever? <laughs> amputate. It's painlessly amputated, and you have some sort of compensation. You got a peg leg. You can live the pirate life, okay? <laughs> so. <sighs> well, that was. Fun. Would you rather is always fun. I like would you rather. Okay, so something I wanted to kind of uh, talk about is I made 
uh, two new channels. One of them is Rika Acts and Sings, and the other one is Rika Loves Jesus. Um, Rika Acts and Sings focusing on my on my skills as a performer, uh, as a vocalist, as an actress, and things like that, and listening to like Broadway soundtracks and things. Um, Rika Loves Jesus, uh, if you're interested in conversations about like worldview, about Christianity, about Jesus, about faith, about those things, you can head on over there. Now, the channels, neither of the channels have any content right now. I just wanted to go ahead and announce that, hey, they're a thing now. And I hope to be able to post content on those channels soon-ish. Again, because July is gonna get is gonna be just insane and ridiculous. It probably won't be until maybe August that I'll actually get around to posting things on those channels. But yeah, just so you all know, I have two other channels. <laughs> so. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you so desire. I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be. <laughs>